So while I was updating to Windows 8.1 Pro, I ran into a problem with the Sentinel Runtime drivers. Now the Sentinel Runtime drivers were installed on my system when I installed Avid Media Composer. Now obviously I have rectified the situation. As you can see here we have Windows 8.1 installed and Media Composer is indeed open and you can see I'm working on a project here about Avid FX and everything is working fine. So this video is just to let you know how I upgraded to Windows 8.1 and got rid of the Sentinel runtime drivers. So first, of course, you might think you'll simply come to your control panel and uninstall from programs and features. Well, I did that, but Windows 8.1 still was not satisfied. It needed the Sentinel runtime drivers uninstalled. So after a bit of research, I found the solution, and that would be to come to the Sentinel website and download this link right here, the command line runtime installer. So after you download and unzip, you'll get this package here. Now it looks like you can simply run this, but it's actually run from the command line. Now I'm not going to go into great detail because there's already a video on YouTube that goes into great detail for this. And I'll be sure to link to that YouTube video and to this website in the video description. But a basic overview would be you'd need to come to your start page and open up a command prompt. So we'll simply type in CM and I don't even need to hit the D, but I'll hit the D so CMD open up a command prompt. Then we need to change the directory. But first I'm going to come over here to the file I downloaded and just click in one of these white areas here. Right click and I'll simply copy this. So I'll come back to my command prompt. I'll press CD to change the directory. And then I'll just paste that in. So to paste, we'll click this C up here and go to edit and paste. Hit enter. And now we're in the correct directory. So just to help you out a little bit, we'll type in DIR. And we can see here in the directory, this hospedinst.exe, because what you want to do is type in that hospedinst, so H-A-S-P-D-I-N-S-T. Then you'll hit a space, a minus, and then purge. And simply press enter, and that will run the program. Now I don't need to run it since I do not have the Sentinel drivers on my system anymore because my media composer is using a node locked license. So I don't, I didn't even need the drivers, but they were installed with media composer when I first installed it. So after you run that, you can confirm you no longer have those runtime drivers installed by opening up a browser and typing in localhost and then 1947. And if nothing comes up, then the drivers have indeed been cleared out. If you get a page that looks similar to the SafeNet website, then the drivers are still installed. So that's just a quick overview of how you would uninstall the Sentinel runtime drivers that Windows 8 required me to uninstall and they may require you to do the same as well. Be sure to watch that linked video all the way through so you get a more detailed picture about how to exactly uninstall the Sentinel runtime drivers.